Hey guys, it's me, the Dumb Fanatic, or the Bedhead Fanatic, um, as you can see. Um, and we are back for the NSTL Week 6. Now, uh, if you've been a follower for the season, you may see that Week 4 and 5 look exactly the same. It's because I am like bulk recording loads because I need to catch up from my holiday. I'm still behind on games, so I need to play those and record those and upload those as well. So if I'm sitting here half asleep in the same top, you now know why. Um, but anyway, week six, we're up against Jack, uh, also known as Grey or Ice or a combination of the both or anything. Handsome Jack, literally anything, and he'll probably just turn his head. Um, he is the commissioner of the NSTL. Um, and he's his, uh, he's I can't speak. He's here with his team, uh, the Yoveltal Yo Town. I know it's Yeovil Town, but trying to actually say it with the Yeovil is a bit confusing. But anyway, as usual, the drafts are below. We can go through his team real quick. Instead of Mega Heracross, though, he does have Mega Charizard for our for our battle. I think it was after our week he's had the transfer go through, um, so he's now got Heracross instead. But he has Mega Charizard X. New Thunderous Incarnate Greninja, Chiron Black, so immediately like what? Hello. Um, let some of us have some of the good stuff. Um, Registeel, Haunter, Whimsicott, Gastrodon, and Flareon. I don't think that was there when I prepped. Um, I don't think the Flareon was an option. I think he's just picked that up since I've looked and I haven't checked Discord properly. But considering this battle only happened like two days ago, I should remember, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't a Flareon there. Um, but yeah, that's the draft below, as you can kind of tell, including Mega Charizard X instead of Heracross. Um, he's, he's got Charizard X and Kyron Black, like... Right, yeah. Um, I mean, I have two fairies on my team, so it's not going to be too bad, but... I mean, one of them is a dragon as well, in my Mega Altario, and the, the Kyron Black literally has enough power and coverage just to destroy my whole defensive core. Um... So I'm really not in a good position to deal with his uh, his offensive threats. His defensive threats are going to be absolutely fine. I have I have no concern about that whatsoever. But um, his team is incredibly scary, and um, we we kind of had a talk before the game, and he was like, "Oh, you've got matchup, you've got this." And I was sitting there like, mm, "Not not sure about that." I'd say it's a pretty even matchup this week because we've got things that kind of screw each over. Uh, screw up. I can't speak screw each of us over. Um, maybe I do have more that that kind of works overall. Um, but you'll see in a minute. You'll see in the battle what what went down. Um, so let's go over the team. First up, we have got Robombi. Uh, I've gone for an offensive one. Obviously, uh, like I said, he's got two um, two dragons. Although one is a fire type, it's not the most special defensive unless he does bring a special defensive set. And Moonblast is still going to be doing like a solid amount. Let's do. It's still two shot after rocks, I believe. Especially with the pixie plate, um, because if you look at his team, uh, disregarding Flareon, because Flareon wasn't there originally, um, the Moonblast is very spammable. Like I know he's going to bring in Registeel every single time, or I, I expect he's going to bring in Registeel every single time, um, because Rombi can't touch it by hidden power. Um, so that's why I've got U-turn. But this thing hits like his defensive core. Well, not his defensive core, his like main core that I highlighted a minute ago, super effective. Um, apart from the Charizard, which is neutral, and the Thunderous, which is neutral, but they won't appreciate rocks and then a Moonblast. And I will outspeed both unless they are scarfed or set up. Um, at which point I probably won't keep Rombi in anyway. Um, but yeah, it. it it just has a really good matchup, and then you can see like it's got Energy Ball for the Gastronon, the Whimsicott. Probably won't appreciate a Pollen Puff or a Moonblast. Um, Haunter is actually going to be a really good check to this thing, but I don't think he's going to bring Haunter um, purely because of the power he has and every other thing to deal with my Mon. It just, Mons, it just makes more sense to bring something else over Haunter, um, even though I'd have a half decent matchup against me to be fair. Um, and then, well, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, the speed is there to outspeed Greninja because he has got the regular uh, Greninja, which is base 122, I believe, in speed, and I'm 124. Max special attack, and then the rest in, in special defense. I didn't want to put it in HP. Or I could have put it all in HP, actually, and kept out an odd number, but, you know, doesn't make much of a difference in this game, as you'll see. Uh, next up, we have got the uh, Landorus Varian with the Groundium Z and the Intimidate. 
Also, sorry if I'm sound blocked up. I've either got a cold or hay fever start to. I haven't had hay fever in ages, and it's just starting to get to me now. One of the two. Um, we've got earthquake, stone edge, U-turn, stealth rocks. I had a serious case of four move syndrome on this thing this week. I originally wanted to bring rock polish because rock polish against this team does incredibly well. Um, obviously, with his Charizard being weak uh, to Earthquake, with his Thunderous being weak to Stone Edge, with Kyron Black being weak to Stone Edge, with Rich still being weak to Earthquake, um, Mew being Mew, but I'm comfortable I can deal with that Mew. Um, you know, Haunter would die to a sneeze, Whimsicott would take a decent amount, Gaston would take a decent amount. So, looking on, on paper, that was a really good set, but I needed Stealth Rocks, and I couldn't afford to do it on my Nihilego, as you'll see in a minute why. Um, so I decided just to go for an offensive set. Now, I'm really speedy, and I think I'm really speedy to outspeed. I, I don't know. Why am I trying to outspeed here? Something. What am I trying to outspeed? I really can't remember what I'm trying to outspeed. I'm trying to outspeed something with this set. Um, it may be that I didn't change the EVs after actually changing the move set, so that might be why this was set to this for a certain reason. Honestly, I can't remember why. Um, but it's there for a reason. And obviously, U turns there to keep momentum. I do have right and heat this week, so I've got a Volto and Core. And I've obviously got a U turn on my Rabombi as well, so I can keep momentum on my side, hopefully. And I think momentum is going to be key in this game because he's got lots of offensive threats. If I can just keep obviously getting the right thing against his offensive threats to try and threaten him out first, then that's going to be great for me. But Earthquake Stone Edge just does a great combination to his team of, of, of hefty damage. And Groundium Z, this is my best way of taking out that uh, Registeel. And once that Registeel's gone, it opens the way for Rebombi or um, the Nihilego, depending on what sets Jack has, to just kind of go through his team. So yeah, um, it's also going to be a half decent check to Charizard, depending on what it is. Um, obviously it's immune to the Thunderous' Electro type moves, but I will be slower. Um, obviously uh, Chiron Black will probably outspeed me. Um, but it's kind of there mainly for the Red Steel, but if I can... I think the reason I took, actually, I took Rock Polish off in there is because I was struggling to see where I could actually get set up. Rock Polish, because there's a chance I'll have Ice Beam on you, and there's a chance I'll have an Ice Beam on Red Steel, and I see them as the best chances I have. Mega Charizard might have been the one good chance I had, but even then I could be running a Will-O-Wisp if he is a bulky set. Or a burn from Flare Blitz, something like that. Um, so that's Landorus this week. Next up we are bringing the, uh, just the regular the Dino with Encore, Wish, Hyper Voice, Flamethrower. Um, he's got lots of setup on his team, like lots of setup. Um, Dragon Dance, Charizard, uh, you can do anything. He's been very hot on his Mew setup. Uh, this season so I figured it'd be very nice especially if he's nasty plotting or rock polishing especially with baton pass which we can do and uh, the only baton pass rule I have is we can't I believe is we can't send stats through with speed boost um, otherwise I'd be doing that with Cribber Dance all day every day with uh, Rebombi but um, yeah he's got set up on the, the Mew, the Mega Charizard uh, actually that might be it but he's done it so often I felt like it was necessary and obviously if he wants to try and like roost and stuff like that um, then that's also really good uh, just to trap him into that give me some momentum um, but I wish uh, because my other bulky type of mon which is Rotom this week um, I haven't been able to afford to run pain split on it so I needed that health and I'm max special defense because I figured that um, this would be my best Ice Beam answer because um, Rotom dies to Earth Power <laughs> because of obviously the Terra Vault. Um, this is like my best Kyrom answer and if he's going to click a Dragon move then I have got two Fairies so I think it'll be some good mind games. This is like my best answer for it. Um, Focus Blast is going to have to run that if he wants to be able to hit me hard enough. But with Regenerate and Leftovers Wish and Encore, I feel like this thing should be annoying enough to, to kind of take on his team quite well, to be honest. It's also a really good Greninja check for me, uh, too, because Greninja kind of screws me over. Um, other than Myra Bombi. Um, but yeah, if he has Gunk Shot, then. Um, not sure he will be after last week when he missed one right at the end, which lost him the game, but still, um, it could be something that, you know, comes along. But Audino kind of just checks that, like some of his more special things really well. Um, obviously, the Charizard could still be an issue to it. But yeah, like, it's not going to be doing too much. The only thing I do worry about is it is set up fodder. 
um, but that's why I'm running the Encore and it makes it kind of like a nice, uh, it kind of fixes it quite well. So, um, but, oh yeah, and EVs if I haven't gone over the max special defense like I said. So, uh, next up we have got the Rotom Heat which is just a Fizz Death set. Um, it's my best answer to Charizard, <coughs> um, as well as my Mega Altaria, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, but I also need it to help me with the Registeel, in case my Landorus can't do it its own, on its own. Um, we have got over a Heat, Defog, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave. Um, my team is slightly weak to Stealth Rocks this week, um, if I don't get my Mega Evolution off on my Mega Altaria. That's three things, week two. Um, to, to I can't speak rocks. That's the one. Um, and he has got Greninja, which can bring the spikes and toxic spikes. Not really expecting toxic spikes because I have Nihilego, which absorbs them. I have Altaria, which is immune to them until it Mega evolves. I have Rotom Heat, which is uh, immune to them, and I have Landorus, which is immune to them. So I only have Ordino and Ribombi, which are actually weak to the toxic spikes. Um, but yeah, like he hasn't got a ground type other than Gastrodon, and I really thought Gastron would come, and I really debated whether I should run um, Hidden Power Grass or not on this thing, but I actually looked at his team and I was like, okay, well if he sets up any kind of speed boost with the Charizard, that's going to be an issue. If he sets up any, like, Z Hail, he's, he's not actually got Z Hail on Kyra and Black, and I noticed it, but you know, if he was Z Hail on uh, the Kyra and Black, or you know, just slowing down the Greninja, slowing down the Mew, obviously it can't synchronize the paralysis on me because I'm an electric type, slow down the Windsor Cot. It's got a few fast things which can be Thunder Wave, so um, I figured that would be really, really helpful uh, in this matchup. Yes, he's got Thunderous as a switch in, but I can just Volt switch out. That Thunderous can't really do too much to me. So um, that, 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 that's pretty much it, really basic Rome Heat set. Uh, next up, we are going to go to uh, Mega Altaria. Originally I was thinking about just the standard Dragon Dance speedy offensive, but then I actually thought no, the bulk on this thing this week could be really nice. Um, I can bring it in against the Charizard pretty safely, um, because I'm immune to his um, his Dragon moves and I resist his Fire moves, and I've got max HP. I'm not max defense, but Mega Altaria is naturally just quite fat. And uh, the combination of Hyper Voice and Fire Blast just does a lot of damage to his team. Fairy, as I've already gone over, is really good against this team in this matchup, and Registeel again is probably going to be switching. And if I nail with him, nail him with a Fire Blast, um, depending on his set, it could be like a 2 at KO, because I am Modest Max Special Attack. Um, so yeah, this thing just kind of poses a really nice threat to his team. I can bring it in on the, the Thunderous, unless it has Sludge Wave, I can bring it in on the Mew if he's a defensive set. I'm running that Toxic. Um, in case he's like a bulkier Zard and can set up a bit easier. Um, I could also bring it against the Mew if he's a fat set. I know it'll trace it back to, uh, not trace it, synchronize it back to me, but hey, you got to have a contingency plan. Also helps with the Gastrodon. I think that's the main reason why I was running it this week. Um, but yeah, this set just kind of does the damage and takes the hits incredibly well. And it has a pretty decent matchup this week. Um, and then my final set, I consider probably to be like my late game winner, is the Nihilego. Um, I literally, I made this team uh, while I was in Call of Jack, because I think we were playing Overwatch originally, and we're like, actually, we should probably have our game by now. But, um, I, I kind of clicked Power Gem, and I was like, what other moves do I actually need? Um, so the move set on this thing is a bit, it could be a bit eh. Um, I've got Grass Knot, which is for the Gastrodon. I've got Toxic Spikes, because why not? I mean, Toxic Spikes actually could really help against his team. Um, He's only got removal on you and Mega Charizard X, but there's no way he's going to bring it on the Charizard. Um, oh, and Thunderous actually, but again, I don't think he'll bring it on the Thunderous. Um, and clear smog in case he does set up to like plus one on Charizard, I can then just come in, sack this thing off, but get rid of his stat boost, uh, and then take it from there. Or I could just power gem, you know. But you know, in case the Mew gets out of hand, uh, like nasty plotting and stuff like that. Um, it, it, like all I need is power gem once registeel is gone um, and I have a beast boost I don't think he actually can switch anything in um, the Charizard will die especially after rocks Mew if I can get to plus one probably can't kill me with a psychic um, and I will then take that thing out with uh, two power gems especially if I get the toxic spikes up um, thunderous like 
unless he's Charty Berry, that isn't going to take anything at like plus one or plus two very well. Um, Greninja, just because it's a frail mon. Kyron Black's weak to it. Registeel, we're going to talk about that. Haunter is Haunter. Whimsicott is Whimsicott might take a hit, but honestly, what can a Whimsicott do back to my excuse me to my Nihilego? Gaston's the one thing um, also stopping me, and it's a mon that could be quite problematic to my team actually thinking about it. But um, I, that's the team. Um, I and mean, as you can see, the EVs there as well. It's just like enough speed to outspeed a Mega Charizard X. It's Jolly Max uh, speed and the rest in special attack. So yeah, um, that's the team. I know I've rambled on a little bit already, so let's just go and get straight into uh, into the match. Right, so we are here uh, in the game versus Jack, and I didn't actually talk about what I would I was expecting and wasn't. Um, I wasn't quite expecting the Charizard X, in all honesty. I was expecting the Gastronova. The rest of his team I was very much expecting, because the rest of his team is actually, like, disgustingly gross. Um, but the Charizard X could have a bit of an issue against my team. Um, but actually, it does make a bit more sense, as we'll see later on. Um, but he's just, like, bought all the threats and, and Registeel. Um... Which is kind of fun, kind of not. But um, yeah, looking at the the matchup, I think I'm going to lead with Rabombi here because I will outspeed everything that isn't Scarfed. If he leads off with the Zard, I will U-turn out because um, I'll expect him to potentially switch out or stay in a Mega. Um, Chiron Black, uh, that isn't going to stay in against me. I actually don't know if Chiron Black can kill me with anything. I imagine a Life Orb Ice Beam would kill me, but I didn't calculate at the time. Thunderous probably can't kill me either, unless he has Sludge Wave. Um, and I can two-shot that thing. But I, like my main play is probably just to go in and U-turn turn one, just to try and get some momentum. Um, and whatnot. So yeah, um, let's just play this replay. This was a few days ago, so sorry if I forget anything but yeah let's go into the game so uh, i've got the music on i hope I can just turn that off um <laughs> so we do lead off he leads off with his thunderous i lead off with bombi i'm actually going to switch out because i'm actually wondering if he's scarf but from his play there i know he's not scarf now um i do go into my ordino because it's like my best answer and jack goes to the five punch now that damage because i'm not his death at all um kind of reveals that he's a, a more bulky zard um also, I click Uncle here in case he decides to set up Dragon Dance, because this is like the freest thing for him to set up Dragon Dances on. Um, but he clicks Fire Punch, that's fine, that gives me like a free switch into my Rotom Heat, or my Landorus, or my Altaria. Um, one thing I will say is, by the way, we didn't realise until it came to it, but Altaria is already coming pre megad which I wasn't expecting, because I didn't think that happened on the Wi-Fi Draft League tier on Showdown, but it doesn't have any bearing on the game whatsoever, as you'll see. Um, but yeah, so I encore him into Fire Punch, that does give me like a free sort of plane to something else, so he's going to switch out here. Um, I'm going to click Wish because I, I, I can stay in and Wish. I expect him to switch out, obviously I expect him to switch out. I'm going to go into my Rabombi here um, to get some Wish sort of health because I don't think there's much he can do to me. But he actually sets up a Toxic Spike, um, which really isn't that much of an issue for me. But I click U-turn because I expect him to switch his Greninja out. And I'm going to go into my Lando. And uh, he's now at minus one attack, so there's really not much he can do. However, I'm going to switch out Scatman for the Hidden Power Ice, but he does switch out. Um, and that's when I kind of confirm that he is actually definitely a, uh, a bulkier set. So this turn, in comes the Mew, and I'm like, no, you know what, I want to slow this Mew down. He's bought Rock Polish on this thing before. He's bought Nasty Plot on this thing before. If I can get any chance of a Power Hacks or slow this thing down, I will be happy with it. Um... And actually, I do go for the Thunder Wave, and I do land it, which is fantastic. Um, obviously, he's going to outspeed me still, because he is at plus two, so he's at neutral, effectively. Um, but for my faster things, like Rabombi, uh, and uh, Landorus, Nihilego, Altaria, um, actually, not even Altaria, but yeah, um, that can make it a bit more bearable. He could go for another one, and then start to outspeed me, but like I said, we've got the chance of the Power Hacks, which is fantastic. So, um... We do get the Thunder Wave off, and obviously the Synchronize doesn't work. Um, but he is now going to click Baton Pass, and I'm like, oh, okay, what are you Baton Passing into? I need Baton Pass into Charizard X, and I'm like, well, that's that's fantastic. I take that chance to defog, because I wasn't really sure what the Mew would do. It couldn't think it'd do too much to me. Um, but actually, the, uh, the, the Charizard's in, and I've revealed the Thunder Wave, and Jack makes a really good play, and uh, does 
switch out into the Thunderous, knowing that actually I could paralyze his Charizard. And his Charizard really can't do much damage to my Rotom. Um, so there's no point in actually even trying to, uh, to abuse the speed boost at that point. Not quite sure why he actually did go into that. If he went into Kyra and Black, I think he would have just won, like, straight up. Um, so yeah, there there is that to consider. Um, but it didn't happen. He went into his Thunderous, which is a smart play because obviously he can't paralyze it. He stays in this turn and clicks Focus Blast. I actually, I believe, stay in the Quick Volt Switch because I know I can take any hit really well. I resist his stabs. He's not Life Orb, so I don't know if he's like a Z-Move or something. I go into my Altaria, and he has Hidden Power Ice, I guess, for the coverage of this thing, and um, the Landorus. And it's really good that he doesn't have Sludge Wave, because it would cause much more of an issue. But because I know he's Hidden Power Ice, and it's only doing 40%, I assume he's probably Expert Belt, actually, at this point. Um, I can actually just stay in and roost up back to, like, full, and be in a really good position with this thing. I can effectively roost up against the Charizard with this thing, um, so I'm not too upset, and potentially the Greninja, uh, depending on its uh, move pool, I could potentially roost up on that as well. So it's just kind of being like a, I get a 5 loss crit by the way, um, as you'll see that's like the one bit of hacks I get this game, and, and hacks does start to go jacks way shortly, um, but the roost is actually kind of like going up for me. I think there he expected me to switch out into my Ordino, and that worked out really well for me, I'm now at 100%. Um, but he, I do actually stay in this time. The hidden power does way less than it did the first time. I'm just going to click Hyper Voice and kill this Thunderous off because that Thunderous was annoying. Obviously, while I wasn't hitting anything super effective with its stab, um, its coverage is just annoying for my team. So in comes the Chiron Black. Um, I'm going to go into my Ordino to, to chew that Ice Beam. Look at that. Um, and then uh, we get the leftovers. Now here he goes to the Focus Blast and he gets a crit. Um, not actually sure if the crit mattered. I think Jack was of the opinion it didn't, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you know, I could have got some nice chip damage off from this thing. But he's taking two lots of life orb, that's fine. I go into Robombi because I know he's life orb and he can't outspeed me. I'm just going to click Moon Blast because I want that thing gone. That Kyra in Black is an absolute terror to my team. And then in comes the Registeel. I, it takes more from the Moon Blast than I thought it would, kind of maybe revealing its Fizz Death. Um, but I bring in my Rotom because one is either going to get for Stealth Rocks, and obviously it's also a really good matchup for me. I'm probably forcing to switch out. Um, I do believe I might actually click the default. Yeah, I do, because Stealth Rocks is still going to be an issue to my team. Um, now, this is um, a really big part of the game. I'm like, well, this Kyra in Black's an issue. He's going to expect me to switch into my Landorus uh, to take the Earth Power. Um, because Rotom is such an important one for me. Um, however, he does actually decide to stay in and click Ice Beam. And I got that prediction right. Again, he gets a crit, which like does an extra what 10, 15 damage to uh, percent damage to me. I do get the crucial Funk Wave off. That pretty much negates this Kyra in Black now. Everything on my team is going to be faster. I can Volt Switch out um, because I can still use this Rotom Heat as a sack, and I can go into my Rebombi. Um, luckily, he gets paralyzed, but I was taking enough power. Okay. Um, but now, like I, again, I can click Moon Blast. Um, this is where I find out he's kind of like a special defensive Charizard. Um, I know he's going to click Roost this turn because a combination of Moon Blast and uh, U Turn put him at uh, like half. Um, but he goes for the Fire Punch, gets a crit through my Intimidate, and burns me. And at that point, I was like, "Are, are you actually shitting me?" Because my Rotom and Landorus are so weak. It is pretty much a uh, game because I can't deal with this Registeel once my Landorus and Rotom are gone other than Fire Blast on my Altaria. However, he makes a play into Registeel, and I I don't know why. I clicked my Z-Move because I thought, you know what, screw it, let's click my Z-Move. I figured out he's defensive, there's a very good chance I'm faster than him already. Um, let's just do it and kill it off and, and, and get a kill, because I, even with the burn, um, Nothing on his team will really want to take like 30 or 40 percent from from this um, Z or this uh, oh what's it called? I've forgotten what the ground one's called. I you'll see it in a second anyway. But yeah, he actually brings in this Registeel, and with the burn, that still does like 60 percent, which is mad. Um, and that actually allows me to stay in and uh, just just get my stealth rocks up. And looking at his team, you can see the Kyron Black and the Charizard X are are looking golden. Now, I wrote him, he is now dead because he's got his stealth rocks up. I couldn't have killed him that turn anyway, but I do go for another earthquake. He's just let his wind gone get so weak, and, and he does reveal the ice punch here, which I knew he'd have. Um, he's let his wind con die. Like, I said to him, because we were talking during the game, I was like, you realise what you've just done? 
So here I'm going to stay in and click Roost. I've seen the Ice Punch, yes, but it's going to do nothing. Um, because I'm an Altari. He doesn't freeze me, thankfully. That would have just been the icing on the cake. Um, especially after that crit burn. Uh, but I do click Fire Blast, and I land the Fire Blast, and this thing dies. So, um, now Registeel's gone. Like, he's still got all the threats left. Um, like, uh, uh, like Near Lego just wins by clicking Power Jump at this point, because Mew is his next best thing to deal with it, and that's gone admittedly that that second hyper voice was a much higher role than before and i wanted the mute to live because um i could then have come in and click power gem and got the the free beast boost and at that point i don't think anything on his team could switch in uh to the power gem um but you know altari takes it out and looking at his team uh, i'm really surprised he didn't go into greninja at this point so i thought he'd have ice beam um but because i got the paralysis on the chiron earlier that was huge, my Altari now at speeds, and he can't bring it in against it. It's pretty much useless. Um, Charizard's like his... Well, I, I thought Greninja would be his best way to kill this thing, but he goes into Charizard, I'm guessing, to click Roost. I'm going to click Roost this time, because I'm pretty confident he can't kill me with anything. Um, Earthquake would be his best move. I think originally he did have Toxic, um, but he accidentally had Fun Punch on from an earlier build for my Mega Slow... Uh, for my Slow Bro. He does have Hidden Power, Ice, as I suspected for the Landorus, um, but it doesn't do anywhere near as much as my hyper voice does. He's going to click Roost here, but that's fine. It, every time he Roosts, I Roost, and I'm going to win this fight because my hyper voice is just doing more damage to him. He clicks Roost again, I'm just going to click the Toxic this turn, because actually that then does just guarantee me the one-on-one -on -one win uh, but between these two ones. He goes for Hidden Power, <coughs> does a, a measly 28%. Shut up, phone. Whereas my hyper voice does like a clean 50 nearly. Um, and with Toxic, he is just a losing battle. So at this point, he's going to he's gonna reveal the Fun Punch, which should have been Toxic. If it was Toxic, then I probably would have lost the one-on-one, -on -one because he would have clipped Toxic first. Um, but the fact that my, my Altari is just sitting here at such a high amount of health is great. And he sacked three mons to it, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to sack my Rotom to the Spring Ninja, because I was expecting the Ice Beam with a Gunk Shot. He actually reveals to be Z Dark thingy, Darkinium Z. Um, I'm going to go into Money Hilo because I'm like, right, let's go, let's go Power Gem. He's, he's going to be special. He can't kill me, but actually, he's physical Greninja. Um, uh, as, as you do. But actually, at this point, I can just go into my Rabombi and just click Moon Blast twice and win the game. So, um, sort of talking with Jack before and after, he was expecting a completely different team for me, which is why he bought Toxic Spikes. Um, he was expecting the slow bro. And that was a very good way for him to deal with it, because other than Thunderous, he might s sort of struggle. I mean, he's got Greninja as well, but he could kind of struggle because Thunderous and Greninja are checked quite well by my Ordino um, and Moongus. So I could see why he saw Slowbro as such an issue, but for some reason he didn't expect the Magra Altoria to come, and like you could see matchup wise in the way it played out. Mega Altaria was a huge issue to his team, absolutely enormous. Um, and I'm really glad it worked out to be, you know, the, the, the way it did. So, um, we're now three and three. Um, I did we loot, I like, I've spoiled it for you now anyway, but week four and five, I did lose both games because I had to play them in a rush before my holiday. So, I built really lazily and played really lazily. I think I played about seven league games in the week before going away on holiday, which was just too much for me. But hey, I have come back since and I'm unbeaten since I'm back from holiday. So, in a few games so uh, I haven't played NSTL week 7 against Delhi yet or week 8 um, they're coming up but you can see uh, I should be catching up on the baby league soon as well um, and I should have caught up on the NSTL hopefully uh, and then uh, before you see this battle anyway so a uh, good game Jack really enjoyed that it does put us good uh, sort of like in a, a good position like I said everyone's played games more than me because I've been away and I'm not in the contention for the playoff sort of area at the moment but if I win my games in hand I'll be in a very good position to, to kind of maybe even go through the group first because who is first in mine has actually started to lose a couple of games uh, recently and uh, if I win I'm going to be one behind and I've actually still got to play them myself so um, yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video I know I've rambled I know I sound horrible because I've got cold and I know it was like half an hour long but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video it was insightful in some way uh, make sure you check out the links below for Jack uh, and uh, I will see you guys later bye